what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The heiress to Prince's massive fortune wants his estate to pay up immediately. Three of his siblings filed court documents trying to get the ball rolling. They claim that Comerica, who currently is running the estate, has not paid them for services rendered to the estate. They said that other people have been paid, including attorneys, managers, assistants. They said accountants have been paid, but they haven't seen a dime. Where they do that at? See, when I first heard about this, when I first read that Prince didn't have a will, I was like, here we go again. Prince left his fortune, his $200 million, to his siblings. Well, he didn't leave it to them. He didn't have a will, so it automatically goes to them. And these are, most of them, are people that he wasn't even close to. I don't know. Maybe he wanted them to get the money. I don't know. Maybe he wanted them to fight over the money. I don't know. But he had six siblings. One of them died last year and so he got five now who had who's going to split that 200 million well i guess it ain't 200 million anymore but it'll be a lot more even no matter what the number is right now prince's fortune is going to continue to grow because of that catalog uh they're gonna make they're gonna get into the billions uh just within 10 years i i presume so uh they are right to ask for what's theirs. They're his siblings. Uh, they're, they're, his, they're his blood. Uh, his blood runs through their veins. Uh, well, they, well, his father's blood, at least, <laughs> runs through their veins, but they're the same. You know, they come from the same stock. I don't like it when these big banks and executives, like these people that don't even know uh, people that don't even know uh, uh, celebrities, not just celebrities, but people with money. I don't like when these big companies take over because you know they're padding their pockets. Hell, if they tried to settle right now, they'd be lucky that it, it was a hundred million was still left because those banks are greedy and they find all kind of ways to steal. I don't trust them, not at all. The uh, siblings need to get them some stronger lawyers and go hard. They need to go hard on the bank. Ain't no way they will be on me this long. We're talking three years. It's been three years. They haven't received a dime. A dime. And the bank has been paying out other people. Now, the bank denied these allegations, of course. But I believe the siblings. I believe the siblings. I just don't trust these big banks because you know how they do. I don't think that the bank holding on to that money is fair. The siblings need to get them some new lawyers and go in hard. But even with getting new lawyers, here we go again. The lawyer going to mess around and take a third. Well, you know, with that kind of money, you don't have to agree to a third. You can work out a deal with the lawyer and say, look, man, I'm going to give you, we know this is our money. We know we got this coming. So, you know, we'll give you, we'll give you a, a meal out the deal to put it together. You take it or leave it. I know a whole lot of lawyers who would take it. Now, even a top lawyer would take it. You know why a top lawyer would take it? Because they want the association of doing business with Prince. Even though Prince is dead, they like the whole name association. They can put something on the wall with their name on it, showing that they represented Prince's siblings and they helped them get the money. So uh, you can work it out. It's all this stuff is about negotiating. So I'm sure they can find a reputable 
lawyer, not just a reputable lawyer, but a very, very good lawyer who would take on that case. You know, maybe a million is a little too low, but maybe, I mean, I mean, a couple million, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be uh, breaking bread with 30% or 33%. I wouldn't be doing anything like that. That's ridiculous. This money here is automatic. So, I, but I would want my bread. I want my bread and I want my bread now. I wouldn't be waiting three years to get my bread. Maybe I'm overreacting. What y'all think? I know one thing, people, get you a will. If you got any kind of bread on top, even if you don't have any kind of big money, get a will because it stops people from fighting over all kinds of stuff. I mean, it could be something as silly as a, a, as simple as a pair of tennis shoes. People fight over all kinds of stuff when somebody dies. So get your nice little quick little will. Put, uh, take less than an hour to, to write a will out. Write a wheel out, and that settles everything. You ain't got to even worry about where your money going and who gets what. You lay it out how you want to lay it out, and that's what it's going to be. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?